Hello everyone, this is the next episode of the uh, Strategic Mind Starny Games developer stream. So today we will be playing uh, the release version of the Strategic Mind Fight for Freedom at last. And we've already covered both uh, first operations in the British and in the US campaigns in the demo. However, now we are in the full game and we will continue playing from the uh, demo of save files. So, uh, yeah. So a quick introduction here. Uh, you can uh, play the demo and then use its save files to continue playing. Mm. You just have to load the save, like here, strategic phase UK demo, and jump in. And we are back. So, I've already uh, managed my forces uh, in the previous episode, so I'll probably show you some more uh, unit management in one of the next episodes. Um, yeah, I'll explain how heroes work. So basically, uh, here, as you can see, like uh, heroes are gained by each unit individually. But if one of the any unit gains a hero, you can assign it to any unit of that uh, class. So, for instance, we have two fighters. Uh, this one is closer to getting hero. So. Uh, if he does deal 40 damage to enemy fighters, uh, we would get uh, Marmaduke Petal and then we could assign him to any fighter we want. Uh, yeah. So you just uh, have to select the hero and then the unit uh, the, it can serve in and you'll see what needs to be done to get that hero. Okay, so for instance, tanks, yeah, they have to deal damage to tanks, and infantry, 40 damage to ground units, it's cut on the VR, and then, um, oh, actually we are, uh, okay, we have to capture 20 enemy infrastructure facilities, it's probably easier to do with, with recon. Jack Churchill has a really interesting life. Yeah, so let's listen to what Montgomery has to say. Our inability to use land-based aviation puts a severe limit on our combat might. Our first order of the day should be to capture an airfield. For that, we'll need infantry. Only our troopers can land outside a port and maneuver to capture the enemy infrastructure. Of course, that means we can't weigh our troopers down with heavy equipment or land transport. Okay, so in terms of uh, HQ skills, uh, I've leveled up, as you can see, frontline artillery to level 2, uh, heavy equipment transporter system. Uh, to get uh, plus one move point to tanks and assault guns and Montgomery's vision all infantry units gain resolute attack skill so let's start the Norwegian campaign land in Norway secure key ports and establish control over its northern part major landing operation and naval battle Prime Minister Chamberlain is trying to convince Norway to allow us to land in Narvik. If we cut Germany off from the Swedish iron ore supply, we'll deal a devastating blow to Herr Hitler's armaments plan. And if we don't get the authorization in time? Tensions are high. Norwegian neutrality could disappear at any moment. Could we land without their formal approval? The whole region may decide to back the Axis if we do. But if we wait until the Axis invades Norway... Any news on Operation Wilfred? Did the Germans take the bait? Hook, line and sinker. The German cargo ships were forced into the neutral waters. 
where our fleet made short work of them. As we expected, the Germans are planning secret landings in Norway. In that case, we should launch our own landings immediately to get ahead of the Germans. Too late for that, I'm afraid. They've invaded Denmark. Their paratroopers are already on their way to Norway. Ah, so the Germans took not only our bait, but the fishing rod and the arm too. In that case, gentlemen, we have no time to waste. Sir Harold, you are to depart and assume command of the landing operation immediately. Good luck. A capable commander is worth ten lucky ones. Keep your wits about you, Alexander. General Alexander, your main objective is to establish our control over the coast of Norway. We need a beachhead for advancing towards Oslo. To that end, you must take Narvik, Bodo, Moshin, Namsas, Steinkir, Trondheim, Ondalsnes, and Lillehammer. We should also establish a base for our aviation as soon as possible. Capture one of the Norwegian airfields, and we'll be able to send in the Royal Air Force. What about the Kriegs Marine in the area, General Brook? I'd rather not land our troops under naval bombardment, if I can help it. Don't worry about them. The Royal Norwegian Navy has engaged the Kriegs Marine off the coast of Norway, and our allies seem to have the upper hand. Besides, the aircraft carrier HMS Glorious is now under your command. She'll help you by suppressing the Germans near the coast. Do try to keep her intact for future battles, Harold. HMS Glorious is far from young, but also far from useless. General Alexander, I suggest we conduct an aerial reconnaissance of the designated landing zone near Namsus. I wouldn't want a German welcoming party to sneak up on us. Sound thinking, Bernard. That's what we shall do. Indeed, so... If you watched the, or played the first US, uh, first operation of the US campaign, the Normandy landing, then there also you cannot deploy your aircraft or get your uh, non-core aircraft until you capture an airfield. So here, uh, basically, we have a primary objective: is capture an airfield, and that can be any one of those, but make the most sense to capture the northernmost one uh, also we have to land our troops and basically the best place is probably here in Narvik and probably here as well to capture this seaport uh, it's also tricky because this city uh, it's coastal city but it doesn't have seaport only supply hub so basically you can only uh, land your heavy troops, like uh, basically all land units except infantry can only land here or here. Also, I have to make sure, so I bought, uh, as I usually do, I bought the best uh, trucks for uh, my uh, infantry units, but I should discard them while I'm in... Uh, the deployment phase because they wouldn't be able to land um, at clear terrain they would require seaport to land if they have transport with them so that's the mistake uh, like i myself did when playing first time during play testing so should really get rid of all the heavy uh, machinery and equipment uh, for infantry So, yeah, uh, all other units uh, can only land at the seaport anyways, so we don't have to discard uh, vehicles for artillery or something. Okay, so let's uh, start our deployments and... I guess I want some infantry here to support this attack by uh, Norwegian troops on this city and I want some infantry to go to Narvik 
And we also have some auxiliary troops there. And let's uh, put our most important units uh, in this group and then the rest here. Also, yeah, as you can see, I cannot deploy aircraft uh, until I've captured uh, one of the airfields. So we will leave them for now and press and deploy button. So uh, landing is a bit tricky and it requires some knowledge of how the game works. So I hope this episode will help you and I'll try to show all the important stuff regarding the landing. Also we have our, a carrier with four uh, fairly swordfish torpedo bombers. But those can be... so this icon is missing and it was already reported. Uh, we will uh, fix that in the coming days. Basically we plan to make all the hot fixes throughout the week, so it could be fixed anytime between Monday and Friday I would say. Uh, so yeah, so basically there should be a torpedo icon and uh, if we open equipment, yeah, so for some reason those torpedoes, they, they don't have icons, yeah, uh, we'll uh, correct that. So basically you can either disable it and attack ground targets or activate it. By default it's activated because it's a torpedo bomber and you can attack uh, naval units with torpedoes then. Um, okay, so first of all scout the German coastal defense. So as Montgomery told us he wants to scout this area. So. Let's do that. Okay, so there is an artillery fort covering the landing zone, General Alexander. I suggest we suppress it with our aviation before our troops can take the shore. Agreed. Must provide cover for our infantry. Our carrier-borne aviation should suffice for that. Yeah. Well, we don't really need to land here, I would say, as those two hexes covered by the fort. Uh, I'd rather land here and here, and then just basically go behind that fort. Although we have one more landing group here, uh, so it's up to you, you could try landing here, but uh, that seems... Uh, quite tricky and you probably would need to get rid of all those units with naval, bo naval bombardment first. So I would follow an easier pass I guess. And scout out those some small enemy naval force. Okay, these are some damaged enemy destroyers. Mm. And I also want to land in Narvik, so I'll scout Narvik as well. And we've got flag fire. Okay. So let's land our force here. Actually, if we can take Bodo fast, we can then unload... Oh, actually, I was wrong. Yeah, we, we, it, it, it makes no good. As, as I said, it's only a supply point. So we have to take uh, uh, this uh, city with seaport first. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, start firing with our second gun at the destroyer. So basically destroyers cannot, uh, they can only deal damage to the heavy cruiser hull with torpedoes and torpedoes have two hexes range so we are safe, we are, we are safe, we are three hexes away. So let's fire it. You will probably have an easier time uh, with uh, naval combat if you've played Strategic Mines the Pacific before, but uh, we don't have any really difficult naval battles uh, in this campaign, so you should do fine even if you didn't. So we've destroyed one uh, of the enemy ships and this one basically dead in the water. It's uh, engines out. Maybe we can send actually one of our planes to finish off. I disabled torpedoes because uh, they actually deal very little damage against uh, destroyers because those are very maneuverable uh, vessels. Okay, we have still have three other uh, aircraft units uh, on board of our carrier, but we'll see what we want to do with them for now. And let's actually move uh, uh, our battleship and launch a seaplane. So all heavy ships have a seaplane to launch usually. Okay, let's uh, actually fire at those guys. Let's see what's in here. So, naval units are really powerful uh, in the series. You've probably already noticed that. Let's bring our air uh, carrier there, I guess it's a relatively safe area. Uh, let's see if we have any other destroyers, no. Okay, we have one here. So I'd rather uh, move it here for now. Let's start firing on the recon. Maybe we can start already uh, start landing here and moving on that city. Okay, so I guess that's enough for uh, those objectives, and they would probably. Uh, Okay, we would probably want those guys to land as well. And those guys to move upwards. And let's start moving our forces also northward. 
guess we'll land some of our forces there. And some of them down here. Okay, let's see. Uh, there is an N hotkey to see if some of the troops haven't uh, still can move. Okay, we have uh, some torpedo bombers left. I can take out that uh, AA gun, uh, although it's really risky because of the possible uh, enemy fighters attack. So I don't really want to do it for now. I'll keep them uh, landed on the carrier. I guess it's it. Uh, also, if you don't want to pay in prestige for losing uh, a reconnaissance uh, seaplane, remember the one that we've sent from our battleships, so we can. Uh, recall it back to the battleship, although it wouldn't restore the charge, but it will basically take it back and not allow the enemy to destroy it during its turn. Okay, let's uh, see what the Germans have in store for us. Uh, as you can see, uh, those guys uh, started making some entrenchments. Oh. Yeah, so some of our troops got bombarded by the enemy planes and we really don't have our fighters to protect us because we haven't captured the airfield yet, so yes, it's a bit problematic. But now that, that we drew the enemy air force uh, to attack, we can actually destroy them during our turn. Okay, let's skip through. Uh, you, you can left click to skip some of the animations during the... Okay, so the uh, Norwegian troops did recapture that objective. Uh, okay, now our uh, allied navy counterattacks. A gun battle. Okay, they torpedoed that poor heavy cruiser to death. So our naval force under AI control is doing relatively well so far. Basically we didn't want to burden the player with lots of naval units as they used quite... According to our reconnaissance, two German battleships with escorts are currently heading for Norway. Make sure they don't catch you by surprise, General, or you'll have your hands full. Sir Harold, we've been contacted by the King's men. King Hakon the Seventh's men, that is. His Majesty is in dire straits and needs our help. He and a handful of Norwegian elite soldiers are dug in southwest of Trondheim. Rendezvous with them and escort the King to Britain. Understood, General Brook. Don't worry. We'll ensure King Hakon's safety. 
Yeah, so as I started saying, uh, this uh, is basically uh, some like a uh, this is the British Navy uh, participated in this operation and as you can see like uh, they didn't want the player to control all uh, naval units in the second uh, operation because it, it could be quite tricky. Um, so we did give the, uh, like some uh, non-core like battleship and couple of uh, destroyers and the heavy cruiser in the north so basically player controls all the naval uh, forces in the landing zone but on the, in the south there is a separate group controlled by the AI and you can help them out later with your forces especially now that we know uh, that the enemy uh, ships are coming Okay, uh, so let's keep going. Uh, during the AI turn, uh, Norwegian troops uh, captured uh, back the border, so we can move towards. Uh, uh, no, not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but uh, actually, why don't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we don't have a seaport. Yeah, we cannot change equipment while not in supply. So let's keep moving here. Okay, we are ready to already attack the seaport. Uh, but let's. Uh, use our naval firepower first okay so let's probably bring this heavy cruiser there and start firing these guys mm. Okay, so now we have resolute attack because we've leveled up the HQ skill Montgomery's vision it gives all infantry resolute attack skill. Usually it's a, like a, if you use it you can basically gain first strike. So it, it really uh, helps you uh, to minimize your losses and have better odds in when you are attacking the enemy because the enemy like attacks after your attack not before as usual well, let's actually fire from our HMS glories and let's use actually resolute attack Okay, they surrendered, so we capture the seaport, although it's at 5 health, so we cannot land there now, like it says uh, free up territory, yeah, but uh, basically there is no uh, ability for them to land. So let's uh, move all of our uh, forces closer, but we can only start landing uh, next turn. Uh, still, uh, basically we are done in Narvik and we can start moving southwards. Okay, so that means, uh, okay, we can use uh, battleships AA guns to fire on this uh, aircraft. And we could probably also use it second. Oh, uh, it's not what I wanted to do, so I'll use the Andumu. And I'll fire with the secondary on this uh, aircraft as well. Mm. And 
let's actually land our swordfish. So you, as you see it uh, got its ammo and fuel back and because all carriers have lots of ammo and fuel and they basically give them away to the uh, planes when they land. Okay, so let's uh... oh, I didn't press the resolute attack, so th that was not the best uh, move. Uh, let's move these guys here and these guys here. Okay, so we captured this seaport as well, but it's badly damaged by our bombardment, so it won't fu function for a few turns. And we have really to get our uh, troops out of uh, the enemy fire. So let's actually try to move them there away from the enemy. Uh, they cannot land anyways for a few turns. Okay, so we'll get supply running through here and here next turn because although I'm not sure what this scene is, so let's scout out. Okay, so there is a bunker and it's basically disrupts supply here. So we'll have we'll have to deal with it uh, next turn as well. Actually, we could bomb it with our uh, aircraft, but I guess it's too risky since they have two full strength fighter. Well, not full strength, yeah, but two fighter units left. So I'd rather wait a little bit before deploying because torpedo bombers are very vulnerable to fighters' attack, especially if they use torpedoes. Oh, they wouldn't use torpedo on a bunker, of course, but uh, it's still risky for them. Okay, uh, it seems that uh, all of my units ha have moved, although, yeah, th those guys should also retreat somewhere. Mm. Yeah, they got engaged by the uh, naval gun. Okay, this one got overwatched. It's got overwatched by the. So basically, uh, heavy ships have overwatch against destroyers with their second gun. troops so basically they've dealt with the first wave of the German ships but as we know there are Scharnhorst and Gneiser now coming in so it's about to get even more hot down there. Okay, destroyed 
the gun battery, uh, naval gun battery. General, we've intercepted German communications. It seems a powerful Kriegsmarine battle group is headed your way, including two battleships, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau. I suggest you seize the initiative and try to sink both. Thank you, General Menzies. We'll make sure those battleships are done sailing. Yeah, well, we are uh, still in the north, uh, providing for the landing. Uh, so, oh, actually, no, I, I want to undo that. Uh, so, I'd love to give all of my troops uh, ground transport. And you could have noticed that those guys are my non-core units. So, uh, you could probably be worried about purchasing some equipment for the non-core as you would, uh, they wouldn't carry over to the next operation but you shouldn't worry about that it would be automatically sold and all those uh, prestige points will be returned to you after the battle so uh, you shouldn't really worry about supplying non-core units unless you lose them of course because if you if i lose this guy then the equipment will also be lost Also, I want to deal with that uh, bunker, so I'd switch uh, additional ammunition for flamethrower to get behind it and use flamethrower to clear it out. Maybe I should do that with my uh, core guys uh, low, so let's give those guys flamethrower as well. And And actually doing that uh, should help me with uh, getting some uh, heroes. So as you can see, we've dealt like 10 damage to ground units. So uh, yeah. Okay, and these guys can now move in truck all the way down here. So let's speed up their advance. Okay, so port is now at 7 uh, health, so we can start blending our forces. And let's move our... Uh, yeah, so its equipment is in order, let's keep moving it downward. I love those Morris uh, vehicles moving. So let's actually land in here and send our recon forward. <laughs> Daimler is really funny. Oh, let's keep moving with our Matilda twos. So what else do we have here? Cruiser tanks and some infantry. Although, yeah, uh, I'd rather uh, buy the Morris as well. Okay, uh, let's uh, fire with our dual purpose. As you can see, it's main gun uh, slash anti-aircraft gun. Although you probably can't because there is an image from my camera. But there is a hint when you put your mouse over it. It's telling you that this is both main gun and anti-aircraft gun. So you can fire with it against both like naval, land and air targets. Also, let's move our uh, destroyers here to deal with these fighter units. And let's finish it off with our uh, heavy cruiser uh, guns. Okay, those secondary guns are only against land units, but not 
our battleship. So let's actually send a seaplane and see what's going on in here. So it seems that we can just take it. Uh, let's actually use these guys to... Do they have... Yeah, they have flamethrowers. Great. So we can move them in here. Uh, it's also... You can see those range icons around the supply hub. That's where you can change your equipment. And they should be white because that means that you are in supply. So... Uh, this port doesn't function. It doesn't provide supply. But we have this port uh, with maritime hub, so they together provide supply through sea. And then it goes to this supply point with 6 uh, HP, we've just uh, restored it. And then it goes all the way down here to this uh, maritime hub. And then basically the guys get it. Uh, although, when the seaport is repaired in two turns, it would just go directly from here as well. So, let's actually uh, equip them with Morris as well. Uh, just so that I don't forget to do it afterwards. And let's attack these guys. Okay, and we can move towards that, this airfield next turn actually and uh, take it. Uh, let's keep moving those guys forward. Okay, now... Let's... Uh, fire all our guns on these bombers and uh, maybe use some uh, recon there we are the Empire, now okay so we, we can okay we can probably kill that uh, uh, artillery fort from behind or using our aircraft so Let's actually start bombarding this gun. Uh, let's recall it. Okay, I'm outside of its range. Oh, well, I should have... yeah. Okay. Mm. So, let's see uh, where do we want to land our guys. Uh, so, this Daimler probably goes here. But otherwise, I'd love to start landing there, so... Probably start bringing my uh, units... Uh, Closer to that second seaport. Well, those guys can just stay here because they are badly damaged, so they wouldn't be much of a help. When they land, I, I could reinforce them, but uh, it's just some extra costs for no good reason. So I guess I'd just stack them up here and send them back to Britain, probably. Uh, this guy has got the worst of it, I would say. We still have some points left, could use some strategic airstrike, but. I guess night time is not the best time for it. So let's finish the turn and see what happens. Okay, so they landed. I guess if they don't take off, we can just. Yeah, they are landed on an airfield. You can see their models there as well. 
So we could probably capture them at that airfield and destroy them that way. Because the German Navy tries to counterattack. Okay, so let's keep moving our uh, destroyers uh, downwards. Okay, let's uh, scout out here. So we've got infantry. Uh, okay, no line of fire. Guess we'll use heavy cruisers then. So I'm not sure it would reach. Oh, it probably would. Let's fire. Our forces have captured an airfield, sir. Call in the RAF. Splendid. Give my thanks to the soldiers involved and start deploying the Air Force. Yeah, okay, great. So now we can actually deploy our uh, core uh, Air Force and we've got the reinforcement as well and deploy so uh, we can actually we now actually got fighters of our own finally uh, it shows that they are out of fuel because this airfield uh, doesn't function right now Uh, let's attack that uh, fort uh, next turn with our Gurkha. Uh, let's actually give those guys... Okay, let's reinforce them for three and let's give them Morris as well. Although they cannot 
move afterwards, so probably shouldn't should have done that after we moved. Let's destroy these guys and let's actually deal with the enemy uh, air force. Some XP for our fighters. Yeah, let's start bombing uh, these guys. Although they seem to have some anti-aircraft capabilities. Yeah, they have air attack because this gun can point upwards basically. So let's deal with them using... Actually, yeah, I forgot about this artillery fort, so this infantry is probably dead. Uh, yeah, well, that's unfortunate, I guess. Okay, uh, forgot about this fighter actually, so let's deal with it as well. You can use afterburner to increase your defense and lower the incoming damage. Okay, let's uh, finish this one off as well. Okay, we can actually start moving towards this port. So it's a bit cluttered here, uh, but we'll move our uh, combat ships down uh, to the south to help out our uh, allies. And we still have three. So I kind of I can destroy this one to avoid this uh, infantry destroyed. So I'd probably still do it. Let's. Bomb it actually. Okay, so we can also use one of our swordfish to finish it off. Uh, 
And I guess this is it for this turn. Let's finish it and see what happens next. Okay, so it's some sort of glitch. I don't know why the model is become such so huge. We'll have to investigate that issue. Okay, so our uh, navy decided that land targets are more important than the naval than the naval ones. Uh, okay, let's move those guys back. I guess let's uh, actually. Uh, uh, let's start bombing these guys. Oh, let's reinforce them. Now let's actually use our recon to capture this tank. And maybe use get some experience for the fighter. Okay, uh, let's actually... St okay, so there is a flag, so we need to deal with that first. So let's send our... Um, uh, let's use strategic bombing first. Let's actually strafe that gun, finish it off, make sure it doesn't restore its uh, wounded during the AI turn. No British Grenadiers.
Okay, there is another flag there, so I should still be careful. It covers pretty large uh, areas, so it's not that easy to get there. Okay, let's get moving with our artillery. Let's actually land those guys for refueling and cover our front line units. Uh, I don't really see the. Uh, we are kind of in no rush to use, so I'd be more uh, conservative with this uh, air force uh, usage. So. Let's land those guys at the carrier. And I guess we'll uh, move all our uh, bombers to airfield for re rearmament and refueling. Because our uh, land units are basically lag behind, so they are in no position to capture the areas they clear with our uh, air force. And let's start landing those guys. Okay, let's actually capture it with artillery. Uh, so this port uh, has also finally restored strength to 7. So I don't really think we'll use that small caliber uh, 80 gun. There are decent 80 guns uh, self-propelled, but later in the game. It could be useful, so let's put it somewhere near a rail field. And I think that's it, although let's start moving our uh, destroyers forward. I guess this is it. Well, let's uh, get our bristles up. Okay, let's finish the turn. Enemy once again tries to counterattack. Actually, they still had some mobile units uh, to counterattack our artillery, so that was a bit too risky. And we lost one destroyer because of that, so yeah. Probably not the best uh, plan on my part. So you are dead set on destroying those land units. <laughs> it would seem. Okay, level up. Let's uh, level up our unit. Um, resolute attack. I guess I would still take observant to get better intel. It's a uh, recon after all. Oh, let's finish off this tank. General, 
My agent in Norway reports a large number of German recoilless rifles currently stored at a warehouse in Leikanger. It's a small settlement west of Lillehammer. Hmm. The Germans are excellent engineers. I'd like to see what they've conjured up this time. We'll make sure to drop by Leikanger. Okay. Uh, so let's keep scouting. Also, I really want our Gurkhas to uh, lead the charge on this bunker attack. So I guess we would move up and attack it next turn. And those guys will go take the king to safety. Those guys seem to miss equipment as well, so uh, uh, let's actually give it to them. So, if it's not a landing operation, uh, your uh, non-core units usually have uh, most of the equipment. But since it was a landing and they couldn't like land with it, uh, the only like way to give it to them is after the landing. Uh, let's keep carrier a bit further back and well, let's actually try to send bombers just for fun wouldn't do them much damage but still I don't know why those ships are so huge let's actually see if save a lot helps oh yeah it does so basically you can press uh, f5 and f8 to get those ships back to normal but it's still weird so we'll try to fix it as soon as we can i'd rather so our battleship is almost out of ammunition so i'd rather move it within the supply area for now uh, bring up heavy cruiser and put my uh, navy up for the upcoming battle and that will probably be it for this turn although yeah let's uh, refuel that here hurricane as well Okay, so we've refueled our air force and it's ready for action next turn, either against ships or against land units. So it's really nice that the air force is like a very versatile tool. Oh, here we go again. Well, that's weird. What's wrong with those ships? Can they just be normal things? Actually, I've played that during the like testing and designing the map, and it never happened to me before so kind of 
strange. Oh, actually, we've got ourselves some nice artillery to capture. Okay, uh, let's Smokeburg has to capture this one. And now, let's actually... Okay... Forgot to refuel that, guys. Okay, so we only have to deal with this AT, and then we are good. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, okay, yeah, they have six range gun. So those guys are really tricky. Try to engage it. Okay, it's actually out of shells, so let's try to engage it with this ship as well. And now we can actually try and launch our planes not bad it's because we've already destroyed its engine so it's really vulnerable to torpedo attacks But this is full strength, so those guys will suffer for it, I guess. Well, not much I can do with it. Uh, well, let's actually fire twice probably to get some additional XP We rallied with King Harkon, General Alexander. Good. Escort him to an Allied port at once. We can't let him fall into the Germans' hands. Yeah, well, let's start moving. Okay, so what do we do with our Air Force, I think? Okay, I kind of damaged some of it AA, so I guess we could just use our bombers. 
because the other area is covered by flag. So I guess we would just chip away at it with our bombers. Why not? Okay, but its engine is full, so let's see how much damage would torpedo bomber do. Why can't it attack with torpedoes? Okay, it can. Shell hole. Previous attacks. Yeah, so... Actually, I'm curious... Yeah, they don't have this caliber ready. So maybe we can try and torpedo it from our, our destroyers. Although, I'd rather wait for the next turn because... Uh, it can deal lots of damage to the destroyer this turn still. Uh, okay. Uh, let's move these guys. Okay, so fighters, yeah, it's a bit more tricky. That just brings them closer and get ready to use them next turn when we've dealt with that flag gun. Okay, let's end the turn. So our torpedo bomber barely survived the battleship AA. <laughs> they still want to concentrate on the land targets. Uh. Oh no, this guy is also big. Well, this is some strange stuff is going on here. Okay, let's uh, actually keep fighting this guy. Okay, so those guys... So you see now there is zero strength, but they have 8 damaged. So AA guns deal mostly non-lethal damage, that is why uh, oh sorry, it's not that ship, so let's bring our carrier closer and now we can land and you can see there is zero strength but now it's eight strength, so basically all damage the aircraft were restored when they landed. So that's basically how it works. Well, let's actually finish it with our Bristol so we sent the German fleet to the bottom of the Norwegian Trench. Wonderful news. You've made the seas a little safer for us and for the Royal Norwegian Navy. Yeah, well, now the only problem left is this uh, flag gun, although it got bombarded by our fleet, so it's also not a problem anymore, I guess. Let's just move with our HQ recon in here and capture it. 
Okay, so now we have full intel on all of that and we can easily bombard and take most of it. So... Okay, these guys have flamethrowers but they can't attack because of that artillery support. So let's start... Okay, I got overwatched by what? But by one more flag gun, so I'd rather. So this area is quite heavily fortified. Let's actually use our strategic bombers to deal with this AA. Okay, now it's out of uh, rounds. Let's send in our fighters. Start chipping away at it. Okay. Couldn't quite destroy it, but I guess it's good enough for now. Uh, now let's uh, use our remaining bombers to deal with this. Can I deactivate it? Uh, guess not. Well, let's uh, take off with another uh, fairly. And okay, so let's take this. Yeah, so we are getting close to that infantry hero. Uh, and we can actually use the recon uh, to capture this artillery. And let's uh, send the king to the seaport. King Hark on the seventh has safely boarded a transport to Britain, General Brook. Prepare a welcoming party for His Majesty. Absolutely, Harold. Absolutely. Thank you. King George will be thrilled to meet his august peer. Okay, great. So we are mo almost done, uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So deal with this uh, tanks. Okay, so there is this... Uh, I'd love to uh, get in close with my uh, tank flamethrower. I'm not sure how it will work out. Uh, let's move the artillery closer. Ah, I can start moving my tank with flames rover in this direction, probably. Yeah, that sounds good. And one more tank flames rover incoming, although it's quite far. Let's move these guys here. <clears throat> okay, 
Well, let's move in here, send a sick lane and start firing. I think that's all. Uh, let's end the turn. Okay, so our HQ got under attack. Well, actually it was really risky because they could destroy it and we would lose the whole operation. Do not repeat my mistakes. But let's use our tank to get this fort cleared. I guess I'll move back a bit and just capture those locations and we'll move the battleship here can I move in here? yes I can uh, you can press the H hotkey to activate or deactivate hexes I mean hex grid uh, ok the flag is back have to go to the airfield that one is destroyed it has only three HP and it wouldn't be restored in time for the plane to refuel okay uh. destroyed that those flag guns. Actually, move in here and start crossing next turn. Understood. Uh, let's bomb it a bit just to remove the overwatch I guess now we can move with some of our troops so as you can see uh, when my uh, this unit cannot move in here because it will be zone of control by this enemy unit but if I put my unit in here, it like removes the enemy zone of control, so I can move in here with my unit and capture those guys. So that's a level up for my regulars. I learn first march, 
You can use it twice per battle to like increase the movement uh, of the unit, so that's really neat. Okay, let's bring the artillery there as well. Uh, yeah, let's actually... Uh, let's see what we can do about those tanks. Okay, Matilda's going in. Yeah, let's keep pushing. Uh, those cruiser tanks don't really know what they could do. Let's move them in here for now. I guess those guys can keep moving and destroy this next turn. Well, overall it proceeds well and we have quite a bit of turns left, so... Yeah. Well, let's start firing at those guys. Okay, let's refuel. refuel those guys it's really nice when the air okay misclick really nice when the airfield is up close uh, but still yeah well let's see I guess uh, we'll move these guys in here and keep moving with those, capture a fort. Uh, and now uh, keep fighting uh, with this infantry, or rather keep strafing it. Well, let's uh, refuel and strike. Uh, let's use resolute attack and let's finish those guys off. General Brook, all the key points in central Norway have been captured. My forces are ready to depart for Oslo. Congratulations, Harold. Excellent leadership. Magnificent work, General Alexander. However, we won't be able to capitalize on this victory. We are expecting a German invasion of France any day now. If it does happen, it will take all of our available forces to contain the situation, so the Norwegian operation will have to be discontinued. Return home, General. I have a different task for you. Yeah, well, we've got a golden victory, but... I'd rather, I'd rather go for the episode and finish those couple of cities. So as you can see our uh, battleship King George V cannot go into a big river, so uh, yeah. Basically we'll have to fire from here. Uh, let's see... Uh, basically what happens here maybe let's scout out 
Yeah, let's take this. Overrun this artillery. And let's start firing on these guys. With our battleship. Oh, this airfield still uh, doesn't work, but I guess we'll land on it next turn. We captured the German recoilless rifle, Sir Stuart. Thank you for the tip. We'll put these weapons to good use. Glad to be of service. Yeah, so we've completed now all both primary and secondary objectives and got ourselves some uh, new uh, equipment, but trophy equipment, but we still have to uh, deal with the last enemy uh, Falskirm unit and capture the last flags, so I guess we'll uh, play for a little bit more. Mm, I don't think we can do it this turn, but let's see. Okay, let's keep infantry advancing. Uh, let's move artillery in here. Okay, so. We would need an, uh, air, our air force there to start chipping away at those guys. Yeah. Well, nothing else we could do, although. Could probably, yeah, this artillery has already moved. Okay, let's end the turn. Got a job for a tank. Guns of the United Kingdom. What is your order? Share these rations. Ice pill for enemy fighters. God save the king. Tanks are waiting orders. Okay. Let's actually move this tank in here and start. And now let's attack. Yeah, it's not a good attack. So. Yeah, let's bomb it first with uh, artillery and some of our bombers. Uh, Uh, I prioritize using core uh, units so that they get uh, the XP, basically. Okay, new hero available. Okay, so we've got ourselves a hero, Adrian Carton de Ward. Uh, actually, the VR, but it's often pronounced de Ward in British. Speaking uh, like uh, I don't know, uh, British English users, although it's most likely incorrect. So, um, yeah, so uh, assigning this hero to unit means it would get these skills, and this one is really nice. Like uh, each enemy attack deals one less lethal damage, it also has inspiring leader. Increases the number of command points by 5, which is really useful overall for all of your units. So it also has overrun uh, Assaulter, which is basically an improved flamethrower version. Uh, really useful skill. 
first strike devastating fire so this is really, all those skills are really good so let's uh, see uh, which unit it should be assigned to so uh, uh, basically we have this Gurkha unit and we have this uh, uh, regular unit although we would probably upgrade it to some other and it's already level one so i guess it would benefit the most from the hero because we could get him like uh, devastating fire for instance uh, or overrun or something like that so uh, first strike is not that great in this campaign because we already have a similar skill Resolute attack with uh, like limited use and this one is unlimited, but still uh, We already get just, like similar for free So I would start with devastating fire to just uh, attack twice and get more experience for it and, and if I cannot finish the enemy then I could attack again mm. I think that's uh, good enough for now so I would probably assign, uh, although Undying seems good, but maybe for later operations. Uh, and I would also like to get Inspiring Leader, of course, later on. So, yeah, but for now we don't have to choose any of those, we just uh, choose unit. Uh, for example, this one, and assign to it a Curtain Divide. Uh, and then we get to level up it again and now we can choose from all of its basic and level up skills uh, I think force march is still good but this time we'll take uh, devastating fire Assaulter is also really good, so you, you don't have to carry a flamethrower with you and you have some other bonuses as well. Uh, ignore entrenchment and stuff like that. Uh, so that's also nice. Yeah, lots of good skills here. Uh, okay, let's uh, take the last uh, flag basically. And now we are 400 points, so we've got Grand Cross of the Royal Norwegian Order of St. Olaf uh, granted by King of Norway and Companion of the Most Exalted Order of the Star of India plus one command points from the British Empire. Yeah, so we got some losses and lost one escort ship and one reconnaissance seaplane but overall it went quite smoothly and we've got lots of prestige and victory points. So, let's uh, see the cinematic and move to the headquarters. Sir Harold, why on earth are we withdrawing from Norway? Do you agree with this? The High Command has reached a consensus that our forces should transfer to France and strengthen the defenses there. We are frittering our resources. First we blockade Narvik, now we're leaving. This is nonsense. I won't tolerate it. My creed is not a single defeat. Bernard. I cannot overrule the war cabinet on this. If you think British forces should stay in Norway, I suggest you convince both Sir Alan Brooke and Sir Winston Churchill to change their minds. We are not automatons, following their orders no matter how demented they are. If I were you, I would have just left my troops in Norway. With no supplies and support, I reckon your soldiers would be grateful. And Sir Winston would certainly understand- Oh to hell with Sir Winston! I know I'm right. Churchill is wrong. I'll take him to task, or you, or even the bloody king himself. Which is exactly why I want you in this headquarters, Bernard. But do save your vigor for the Germans. Okay, so we are back to our headquarters, and the next operation will be Battle of Dunkirk. Hold the line of defense around Dunkirk long enough for the Allied troops' uh, successful evacuation 
land and city battle, city defense. Uh, so yeah. And we've got uh, Royal Gratitude, for the rest a uh, global effect. Uh, so we've got Churchill's favor uh, rank 1 during our like first operation uh, in Tsar. And we've got two more global effects after this battle. So one is Royal Gratitude for the rescue of the Norwegian uh, treasury and his own life. Uh, King Hakon VII convinced the British Parliament to allocate additional resources for the needs of the uh, army. All units are 5% 5 ch 5 cheaper and HMS Glorious uh, afloat. Uh, HMS Glorious survived the battle, it will be available for the future operations. So we'll see our carrier in the next battles because we didn't lose it. Uh, okay, great. So I'll show you the unit management before the next battle in the next series and we'll be doing so uh, now I'm recording this uh, Second like operation to help everyone uh, who is struggling with the landing and the Next I'll play uh, the market garden the second operation in the US campaign and then I'll switch back to the British one and play Dunkirk. So uh, at the beginning of Dunkirk, uh, I I'll show some of the uh, unit uh, management. Although let's see what we've got. So yeah, some some new artillery here. Uh, some on big large caliber A Daimler is still Daimler. Yeah, n n nothing too special, but it uh, makes sense because there is like literally almost like one month uh, between this battle and Dunkirk, so uh, not enough time to invent any uh, like. Um, new models or anything so there are a couple but not, not very impressive ones we'll see better uh, units available later in the campaign when more time uh, pass so uh, yeah uh, i hope you've enjoyed the live stream and feel free to ask any questions uh, on our discord our community hubs uh, email us uh, if you uh, find it more convenient for you and I'll keep uploading you like operations finished and I hope that if you struggle with like understanding the game rules and mechanics and other stuff uh, I hope that it it really explains it for you so yeah if you have any questions left regarding these operations feel free to ask uh, and I guess see you next time. Uh, I've I have uh, another broadcast uh, planned the next couple of days covering Operation Market Garden. So let, let's make a, a save file with uh, uh, UK play. Part two. Yeah. So we'll start from this save uh, when I'm ready to start the Dunker Corporation. Um, yeah, let's basically quit the main menu. So, uh, yeah, uh, reach out to us if you have any questions once again. And I hope you enjoy the games. It's been a couple of days since release, and although the game doesn't uh, get that much attention, uh, I think the feedback from the players is very positive, and I hope that uh, more people will get to play and enjoy the game. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, have a good day and see you next time.